Hey guys! <clears throat> Alright, so. Uh, some people are a little confused as to what I mean by certain things when I'm talking about this program, Synthesizer V. Um, this is a bit of a tutorial video because I want to be able to show you guys how I do certain things, how stuff works in this program. Uh, explain the differences between uh, this program and other synth programs, uh, like Utau, Vocaloid, stuff like that. So first off, we're gonna go to Voice Database. This is where your singers are. I only have these three because I have no idea how to use the Chinese ones. Uh, we'll go with Eleanor, because she's the one I use most. I understand her the best. Also, um, don't worry about these. These are a little advanced, and we'll get to those in a later video. Uh, we're just going to the basic stuff at first. Sorry, I just had to move some stuff out of the way. Alright, so the first thing is your mode. This is selection mode. You can select certain things, drag them around. And then you have writing mode. Which, um... Well, it's... We'll do Mary Had a Little Lamb. And just as a, a small example... Alright, so first thing we're going to talk about is entering lyrics. Uh, double click on the note either in, in either mode, uh, but I like to do it in writing mode because then you're not accidentally moving stuff. Although you can actually move stuff around in writing mode, but in selection mode you can do mass moves. So that's one benefit. Now you might be wondering why I'm skipping some, because if you push the, if you insert a plus, then on multisyllable or er, multisyllabic words like Mary and Little, uh, the plus is the second syllable. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, cool! It does that automatically. Um, we'll discuss phonetics. Uh, then in the next one, in the second video for this. Mary had a little lamb. Okay, so, um, first couple of things. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is pitch deviation. Uh, this has two modes, uh, freehand, well, this is, has two, like, usually used modes, which is freehand and freehand overlay. I really, I, I like using freehand overlay way better. Oh. So if you, if you right-click, you can drag a selection box and any changes you've made will be erased. So as you can tell, like, you can, you know, like, do this. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, and you can mess around with it and have some fun. Alright, just gotta get that right. Little 
Mm, nah. All right. Um, so that's pitch, pitch deviation freehand overlay. For freehand, it's a little weirder to use because you have to like base it off of how big this is and this number here. Oh, also, um, the display one. So you can you can have an active parameter and a display parameter. So say tension and breathiness. Uh, hitting Alt X will swap the two. So you can. Nope, coming. Mary had a little lamb. And then hit Alt X, and you can then do tension. Mary had Put that. Mary had a little lamb. Little lamb. Little lamb. We can do specific other things with this. Uh, too breathy. Little lamb, little lamb. So you can like do like kind of normal, little lamb, little really soft, and then like intense loud vocals. <clears throat> All right, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Um, loudness, exactly what it sounds like. You can make things louder. Mary. Ow. I was not expecting that. Um, vibrato envelope, exactly as it sounds. Uh, I have mine set to multiplier instead of the pluses. Oh, wait. Can you change those? I don't think you can anymore. I just updated, so... And if you, if you put it all the way up, then it gets kind of crazy. Like, you can hear it, even though it's such a short vibrato. Um, so tension, like, we'll just, we'll do the extremes. So tense and relaxed. Mary had a... That's what that sounds like. And then if we go here, take this on that. This is just normal. Lamb. And then max tension. And minimum tension. Lamb. And I use that feature a lot when I do covers. Alright, um, voicing, exactly as it sounds. You can do unvoiced, which is just a whisper. Except it sounds awful because the whisper engine in this is kind of bad. Mary had, Mary had a little lamb. And you can make it kind of horrible a little bit for an interesting effect. Mary had a little lamb. All right, a little more. A little bit of a tremolo effect. Gender is really weird. I, I don't quite know how it affects the tone, uh, but I know that I used this in a cover that I'm currently doing out next week. Mary had a it makes her sound like she's on helium. And the other one is like sort of sulfur hexafluoride. kind of weird and it doesn't have that much use but if you do it like a really small amount you can make her sound like a, a prissy kind of girl Mary had a that's a little too much it has to be really small 
Otherwise, it starts sounding really weird. Mary had a there it is. And then compare that to how it is before. Mary. It's it's just that little bit of a tinny, whiny kind of tone. Mary. And I really like that. Mary. See? Alright, and uh... Yeah, and then change, exchange, edit, views, stuff. <coughs> um, we also have... Under project, we have track manager. Which you guys can't see. Hold on. God, I really should just do a display capture for this. Give me one second. Alright, there we go. That should be better. So now you can actually see like what I'm talking about when I'm selecting stuff. The track manager, this, and you can like add tracks and stuff, and you actually have to like uh, reload voices every time you add a new track. You have to select which voice you want. Um, this is just general control stuff here as well. Settings, you have user dictionary, which I have not messed with yet. Um, I'll try to, eventually, to maybe try to get uh, Yamine Renri, uh, Yamine, to read English, because that would be fun. To actually be able to have two separate English voices, one with a, a more somber, you know, kind of low, soft tone, and then Eleanor, who's, like, she loves to go powerful and high. Not that high, but uh, I could load something and show you guys. It, it'd be a huge spoiler for what I'm working on, though, so I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, then we have yeah tempo, uh, measure count, time signature stuff. Um, if you double-click on any section that isn't a part that already has one, you can insert a new tempo, so say 50. But I don't want that, actually, so... Uh, yeah. And if you go up here and do it... Or not. Interesting. I thought you could. Okay. Never mind about that then. Um, but yeah. That is about everything for the basics of Synthesizer, Vi Synthesizer V. Um... I am still on evaluation, unfortunately. I will be getting... I will be getting the full, full license as soon as I get paid from my job, which I literally just started a week ago. So, uh, I should be getting paid either this week or next week. I'm not sure. They haven't told me yet. <coughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial video.